Our uh, final panelist today is Steve Moon. He is the Electric uh, Promotion Coordinator and Utility Specialist in Energy Efficiency for Love of Power and Light. 2009, he received the Energy Efficiency Manager Certification from the American Public Power Association. Having been trained in their program, he has stayed actively involved in the energy efficiency realm. He earned his marketing degree from the University of Texas in 1982 and has worked for four decades in the public relations field. Ladies and gentlemen, Steve Moon. What's that? Kill it? Yeah. Oh, okay. My bad, sorry. Okay. Hello, everyone. So, uh, <clears throat> I work for the power company. My sheepskin is burnt orange, and I have no slides. <laughs> <laughs> and they say you only get one chance to make a good first impression. Um, I have been with Love and Power and Light. Uh, for approximately 12 years now. <coughs> and uh, my title, Electric Promotion Coordinator, is a little bit uh, confusing. What I do essentially is I'm public relations for all commercial customers in the city of Lubbock, and I'm also the uh, person who takes care of the energy efficiency efforts that we have at this time. Um, I'm, I deal mainly with key accounts, that is, customers that write really big checks every month. I am standing in the middle of a very good example of a key account right now, that being Texas Texas First. Um, I uh, deal with other customers that need it, smaller customers, what I'm called on. But uh, for the most part, I'm in the field, on the front lines, and taking care of folks and their needs uh, for, for electric utility. If, uh, if there's a storm in town and Covenant's power goes out at 3 o'clock in the morning, the phone next to my bed rings. So if you wonder who the guy is that gets that call, it's me. Um, what, what do I do with respect to energy efficiency? Because really, when you want to talk about climate science, uh, the, the, the parallel in my world is energy efficiency. Um, I learned that in Lubbock, often if you say green, you better be talking about money. Um, because uh, you can you can hear the word tree hugger come out of someone's mouth real quick, but um, quite frankly, I have found many ways to work uh, within the public realm to assist people in their needs and by lowering their expenses, helping them save money on their electricity. We also uh, decrease their carbon footprint. Um, I work uh, a lot with our bigger accounts when they have uh, different things that they do here in the city. I was involved in a very interesting Kaizen uh, with the Six Sigma here a few years ago where we went in and uh, studied the, uh, the inner workings of a rather large commercial customer and found ways for them to save money. Um, I've been on scavenger hunts where they get the whole crew together. Uh, again, these are typically national companies. Get everybody together and bring in uh, folks like myself, vendors from the outside, maybe bring in folks from corporate office, and basically see what we can do to find ways within a facility here in Lubbock, Texas to decrease their electric use. Um, that saves them money. It's green that way. It's green in ways that climate science is interested in as well. Uh, I've gone out and done a number of lighting assessments with customers. Um, we really don't have, at this point in time, the kind of rebate programs and retrofit programs that you find in some other markets. That's because we are a municipally owned utility. We're owned by the citizens of Lubbock. Uh, we're not required to have such a program. And effectively what we do right now, what we have stressed to this point, is to keep our costs as low as possible and do what we can for the whole, as, as opposed to just a few, which is what happens when you're dealing with, uh, with programs like a retrofit program. Uh, it's not unusual for me to have someone call from a uh, corporate office, say, for example, in Dallas, and say, well, tell us about your, your LED retrofit program. And I said, well, we, we don't have one of those right now. And I said, well, um, let's talk about energy credits. And I said, well, I've heard about those. You know. <laughs> um, and, and in frustration, they'll say, well, what do you do? 
I say, well, I noticed that last year your average cost per kilowatt hour was 6.2 cents. I said, that's an awesome program. You stick with that program. We really <laughs> like it. Um, in time, we're going to be doing more because the price of electricity is only going to go up. Recently, we've seen it go down. And we've seen it go down because of the things that, that Dr. Forbes was describing earlier. Um, we're also seeing in the state of Texas a lot of things happen that are making um, real inroads in, in renewable energy. Uh, and that's exciting. That's very exciting. Um, I thought it was interesting that on the flyer it said we were going to discuss our relevance to climate science. And uh, I like to feel like I'm relevant, so I, I intentionally made some notes about that. And there are three areas where I feel like uh, someone from the municipal utility locally is relevant to the climate science center. First of all is an increase in awareness. Uh, I'm talking this out there every day. And we recently had a uh, community fair that we did with Luna. And I have a little light bulb dog and pony show that I like to do. I don't know how many of you have tried to shop for light bulbs lately. I know those of you who are closer to my age who have shopped for light bulbs lately have probably found that it's a little different than it used to be. All you had to use to know was you want a 100 watt bulb for the living room, you need a 60 watt bulb for the bedroom, and the lamp next to the nightstand takes a 40 watt bulb. If that's all you know when you go to the store today, you've got a problem. <laughs> um, secondly, I'm striving for unity. Uh, it's important to me to have our community all work together. And so I am part of the government. So you have the public sector, the private sector who I work with every day, and then here I am in academia. Uh, I think that it's important that we all try to pull together. When we talk about issues like global warming and climate science, there is so much black and white discussed today. And uh, when I first heard Dr. Hayhoe speak, I was impressed with the fact that she was emphasizing what's going on today and what can we do right now? And what action can we take given where we're at? And I respected that. It struck a chord with me. It made me feel like I could come and contribute something. Finally, um, my, my, my efforts are, are reducing uh, the, the footprint of carbon footprint of lumber. I mean, anytime I help somebody save money, there's another green thing going on as well. Because when they use fewer kilowatts, then that, that makes the carbon footprint smaller. Uh, one of the things that I find is very interesting to talk to about people out in public is the difference between conservation and efficiency. Conservation is simply doing without. Efficiency is finding a better way to get the same results. So what do I mean by that? Well, when we leave the room today, if we shut the lights off, that's conservation. If we change a 100 watt light bulb, an incandescent bulb, with an 8 watt LED, and get the same lumens, that's efficient. We've just cut the carbon footprint of that bulb by 90%. So I enjoy being a part of the Climate Science Center. Uh, I learn a lot. Uh, I get to share a stage with esteemed colleagues like I have today. And um, it's a pleasure to be part of this group.